Hello, hello, and welcome. My name is Alan, and today we are continuing our look at the U.S. Constitution. Today, we will be doing Section 1, or, or sorry, Article 1, Sections 3 and 4. So let's go ahead and hop up into this. Section 3, Article 1, Section 3, Paragraph 1. The Senate of the United States shall be composed of two senators from each state, chosen by the legislature thereof for six years, and each senator shall have one vote. So, in the last video, we talked about the House of Representatives being based on population. The Senate sees each state as an equal body, regardless of how big it is, how populous it is. It more or less makes each state equal. Because you have to remember, in the beginning, the states were valued more than the country as a whole. And it sets out the term limit for each state of six, or each senator of six years. Paragraph two. Immediately after they shall be assembled in consequence of the first election, they shall be divided as equally as may be into three classes. The seats of the senators of the first class shall be vacated at the expiration of the second year. of the second class at the expiration of the fourth year and of the third class at the expiration of the sixth year so that one third may be chosen every second year and if vacancies happen by resignation or otherwise during the recess of the legislature of any state, the executive thereof may make temporary appointments until the next meeting of the legislature, which shall then fill such vacancies. So, what it is essentially saying is every two years, there is a rotation of a third of the Senate. Two years, a third of the Senate uh, has its voting cycle. The, the ne in the next two years, another third. And in the final two years, the last third of the Senate. So that not all senators are elected at the same time. And it's also pointing out that uh, the state's legislatures, their um, House of Delegates, their House of Representatives, state assemblies, are the ones who pick senators unless they are in recess. In that case, the governor picks a temporary senator. Paragraph 3. No person shall be a senator who shall not have attained 
to the age of 30 years and been nine years a citizen of the United States and who shall not, when elected, be an inhabitant of that state in which he shall be chosen. So, it's setting down the rules for election. You have to be at least 30 year old, have to have been a resident of the United States for nine years, and if when you're running for a Senate seat, you must be a resident of that state. You don't have to be born there. You don't have to live there your whole life. But you must be living there when you are elected. And preferably when you run. So, Paragraph 4. The Vice President of the United States shall be President of the Senate, but shall have no vote unless they be equally divided. So, remember, each state has two Senators. And... As it sits right now, there are 50 states, meaning 100 senators. If it's divided down the middle 50-50, the vice president comes in and makes the deciding vote. But if it's already decided uh, beyond a tie, uh, then the vice president has is not needed for voting. Paragraph 5. The Senate shall choose their other officers and also a president pro tempore in the absence of the vice president or when he shall exercise the office of the President of the United States. So, if the Vice President can't come in and make the tie-breaking vote, that President Tempor of the Senate does instead. And the president, uh, the Senate also makes um, other officers. So, paragraph six The Senate shall have the sole power to try all impeachments. When sitting for that purpose, they shall be on oath or affirmation. When the President of the United States is tried, the Chief Justice shall preside, and no person shall be convicted without the concurrence of two-thirds of the members present. So here we're setting rules for impeachment. Um, while the House is the one that decides if the President must be impeached, the Senate is the one that tries it. That That puts the trial on, and if this is done, the Chief Justice of the United States must preside over this impeachment. It's also saying that no impeachment shall end in a conviction unless 
two-thirds of the members of the Senate um, agree that the president is guilty. All right, and paragraph seven of section three. Judgment in cases of impeachment shall not extend further than to removal from office and disqualification to hold and enjoy any office of honor trust or profit under the United States, but the party convicted shall nevertheless be liable and subject to indictment, trial, judgment, and punishment according to the law. So, Um, impeachment itself can only remove the president from office and or disqualifying them to hold any other office of honor in the U.S. But, once convicted, they shall be open to other punishments and civil trials. Now, Article 1, Section 4, Paragraph 1. The times, places, and manner of holding elections for senators and representatives shall be prescribed in each state by the legislature thereof. But the Congress may at any time, by law, make or alter such regulations, except as to the places of choosing Senators. So, it's up to the state to really set up how e how senators and representatives are to be elected, but Congress can have a say in this. Section 4, Paragraph 2. The Congress shall assemble at least once in every year, and such meeting shall be on the first Monday in December, lest they shall by law appoint a different day. So, there is at least once per year that the whole of Congress um, shall assemble, which is on the first Monday in December. So it's it happens at least once a year. But yeah, those were sections three and four of Article One of the U.S. Constitution. And so now we've really set forth 
a lot of the rules for the House of Representatives and the U.S. Senate. But that'll be all in this episode. Next episode, we'll read some more sections of Article 1. Until then, educate thyself, think, read, study, learn. Someone tries to tell you something you have trouble believing, ask them to cite their sources. I'll see you all in the next episode. Until then, later.